people. Today, we're going to talk about something I have come up with. Now, this theory, if I've seen, if this theory is a lie, well, I guess I'm not the first one to come up with it. But if I'm the first one with it, yes. So, the theory, the only way I will accept the Child's Play reboot is, 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 wait for it, build anticipation, wait for it, is if the Child's Play reboot was in the Child's Play slash Chucky franchise. Now, you're like, Giovanni, what do you mean? Well, I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, think back to Seed of Chucky. Chucky goes psycho. Well, Hollywood decided to make a movie based off Charles Lee Ray and Tiffany Valentine, the real life characters inside the universe. Or think back to Scream. Remember Stab 1, 2, and 3 based off Sydney's life? Well, they did continue on, but only the first three, like I said, was based off Sydney. So, oh, or even this is just me, in Halloween 3, when you see the Halloween 1978 movie on TV. The way I include Halloween 3 in the franchise is because Hollywood decided to make a movie based off the real life events of the actual 1978 Halloween movie. And that's how I also include Rob Zombie's Halloween movies. Hollywood decided to make a reboot. And I guess I have to include 2018 Halloween now, but that's like the only way. Like, how would I come up? I don't know. Like, MGM Studios calls Don, right? Don, Don, how you doing? Don's like, why are you calling me? You know, I'm, I said I didn't want to become an executive producer on the movie. MGM Studios is like, I know, I know. But the movie is coming out in two months, or a month. And I think you should be the, one of the first people to review it. MGM Studios is like, bring Fiona, bring David, bring Jennifer, bring everybody. You know, a good amount of people. And then you could tell people whether you liked it. No, either it was garbage, sucked, or who greenlighted this shit, you know? He's in the middle, okay, decent, it could have been better. Or it was awesome, wonderful. I'm actually surprised this movie's good. You know, it's one of those three. And somehow, just somehow, it comes up like, you know what would be cool? If this actually took place in our universe. I don't know who would say it, Dawn or MGM Studios. I don't know who would come up with saying that. But, you know, since the movie's about to be released, you, it just had to be Chucky. You know, I don't think they have enough time to, um, I mean, not Chucky, Fiona. You know, playing evil Chucky. And... Evil Chucky, Evil Fiona, Chucky would be like, you know, that movie was good. You know, that'll be a mid credit scene. I, I like to get, we should do more mid credit scenes instead of after credit scenes. You know, let's get more mid credit scenes, right? And then MGM Studios could do as many movies as they want now because we know that the robot Chucky movies takes place inside the Child's Play Chucky movies. So even. If you don't like the robot Chucky movies, you know they still exist inside the universe. That way, some everybody can somewhat still be um, happy. Because like I said, we don't want this reboot. Well, I'm not gonna say nobody, but you know what I mean. Like that way, I think we I think we'll be happy if like somehow the robot Chucky movies were connected to the Chucky movies. Until further notice, I'm calling him Robot Chucky. But uh, here's another way. This is only another way I'll accept it. Um, is that MGM decided to say, fans, this takes place on another Earth. Uh, the multiverse. This isn't, this, isn't, this isn't just the DC and Marvel, but we're doing the multiverse as well. Now, I'm not saying Robot Chuck is going to walk through a portal and they're going to do crossovers. I'm just saying, like, it just takes place on another Earth. And don't worry, you still got the other movies. And then we got our movies. That way y'all can be happy. 
and then we could be happy, right? So those are like the only way. Those are like the, I guess that contradicts the title because I said the only way I'll accept the child free review, I guess. These are the two ways I'll accept the child free review. But I'm just saying, like, do a movie within a movie or MGM Studios to just say it takes place on a different earth, you know? But, uh, I just want to say this. If I see this theory slash prediction online, it better be saying this theory slash prediction comes from Giovanni. And if I see it online, I'm going to post this link saying this came from me. It originated from me. So, let me know what you think of this theory. Will you be happy with the movie within a movie? That way, they're still both connected. Should they... Should it just take place on a different earth? Or it's it just not... Well, regardless, it, it's going to have to take place on a different earth. But uh, let me know any theories you got out there. That way you could... Will, will you want this? Will you want them connected? I'm, you know, I'm just talking. I'm just bri blabbering. But uh, Chucky, do you mind um, getting a few words over here? No? Okay, he's just watching TV. But uh, get your fingers up. And say it with me. Bye. Or who greenlighted this shit?